Hitchcock Cross talking to you today for Deliberate Indifference Wisconsin. Uh, I've got an exemplary story here of MPS uh, sort of indifference, exceptionalism, and retaliation, um, you know, the usual uh, stock and trade of MPS at this point under uh, Bob Peterson. So uh, we wish uh, there was better. Why isn't Bob Peterson doing anything? We don't know. Um, boy, is it just too much. So uh, the story here is this. In a nutshell, um, MPS solicited uh, surveys from parents, from pupils, from uh, educators. Well, they got one that um, underscored some you know, dramatic problems. As usual, what happens is there's no attempt to deal with the problem on a systematic uh, basis for the benefit of the pupils or really anybody else. Uh, the issue is only damage control. So uh, Director Leonard here went into damage control. He attempted to reach out uh, to this employee. Um, and, uh, you know, again, the issue here is crumbs. Uh, there's no uh, attempt to solve this issue uh, systematically. There's just an attempt to uh, whitewash. Okay? So uh, he reaches out to her. Well, it's a public comment. And what happens is uh, the rest of the public begins to comment on it. Um, a contributor to this channel, uh, I think, posted it, and uh, that by that means the Mr. Leonard's comments got a lot of attention. Well, MPS management didn't go for that. And the bottom line here is, of course, what do they do? They uh, retaliated against uh, the employee because, of course, they're looking at uh, our content. Great, good for them. We appreciate it. Again. Wouldn't it be better if they were uh, moving in a pupil-centric uh, direction instead of just retaliating against um, the, the employees? Because that's what's happening. So, um, and again, it's not, it doesn't matter what the specific issue is. It doesn't matter who the specific employee is. It matters that so much employment power was put on against uh, this employee that they were terrified, absolutely terrified, and uh, to the point that um, relatives of this employee came to um, one of our contributors' houses and asked them to take down their commentary about Director Leonard's uh, exceptionalism. So we're gonna break this down, I think, uh, really into two um, sections here. What's wrong with Director Leonard's response? Why can't he reach out to help? Isn't that his job? Okay, number two is going to be the retaliation. Okay, so we'll look at it like that. Number one, why is it wrong for Director Leonard to reach out on this issue? It's wrong because it only fosters this culture here of what I call exceptionalism, meaning that we are only going to deal with these exceptional uh, situations and we're going to treat uh, the exceptional situation. We're going to act like we're different and that most of the rest of the stuff doesn't apply to us. But then at some point, when it raises above the surface, we're going to pretend that that's the only issue that we know about and that we're going to address it by addressing that single thing, we're going to solve the problem for everybody. Well, of course, we know that's not the case. Uh, we know that a systematic solution is what's best here. And um, certainly, if this one educator is having the problem, obviously, there's going to be an uh, others who are having the same problem. Well, why isn't that being addressed? And moreover, why, it raises this issue here of squeaky wheel gets the grease. Well, isn't the director's job to give everybody the grease, to skid all the tracks for all the pupils? Isn't that what they're supposed to be doing? Instead here, no, they're only looking out for their political interest. Uh, they're only doing the one thing here. Um, and again, not actually any concrete action sort of lip service uh, to this one employee. So that's what's wrong with that here. And, and we've heard this time and time again in so many critiques of MPS, uh, both specifically and, um, and generally. And here, again, the point of this channel is we are so pro-pupil, you can't even believe it. Uh, and so that's what we're saying. Hey, um, public schools need to be better. Public schools can do better. And why are these people acting like um, they don't know how to solve this problem, and obviously they do. Bob Peterson knows how to solve the problem. He's been working for 40 years trying to tell everybody how to solve the problem. 
Well, all he's got to do is vote. All he's got to do is stand up. All he has to do is say, this, the time has come for the board to be in charge and management to do what the board tells them. We are not going to tolerate the Democratic representatives of the city of Milwaukee to be pushed around and bullied by creatures of their own creation. Dr. Posley is a subordinate employee. Okay, so that's what brings us to our second point here, is this retaliation is twofold. It's disgusting, it's wrong, but moreover, it fundamentally attacks the rights of the citizens of Milwaukee to have their elected representatives not only be in charge of the public schools, but operate in such a manner as they are aware of what's going on. And, and that's the critical thing here, right? Why are they attacking this particular educator? Because she didn't even dare to speak out. She just did what she was asked to do, and she got a little attention. And even that's dangerous under Stalinism, under uh, Posleyism. That's the problem here. So, uh, and let's call it Bob Petersonism too, because again, he's the one, all he's got to do is stand up. All he has to do is stand up and do what's right. And it makes me sick at heart to realize that we have somebody in there that could be doing this and is just simply refusing. Because, as we'll find out from the chase and depositions, he knows exactly what's going on. They meet about all this stuff. They know the disgusting behavior of uh, these HR directors, one after another, who are getting kicked out. Uh, they, he knows the disgusting behavior of Posley. He knows the connections. He knows everything that's going on. And yet, for whatever reason, for whatever greater good he possibly sees, it's certainly not any pupil good, and that's for sure, that he's going on and sitting there wagging his finger, pretending like he's, um, you know, a moral arbiter. Well, in fact, he's the moral superior of no one. Because he is in a position of power. And those of you with no power who are making wrong decisions or right decisions, you are in a different position than this man who has held himself up to be the moral authority and is now in a position of power and is about to leave out the back door without doing what's right. And I'm calling him out on it, and I know others are as well. He ought to be ashamed of himself. And he ought to walk to the other side of the street if he sees me because he's going to hear my critique in person otherwise. And that's the fact. It's outrageous, it's disgusting, and it's immoral. And for Bob Peterson's board to sit there and act by giving out crumbs is some kind of solution. When we all know that the first thing that needs to happen is we've got to get rid of Posley, and then we've got to move from there. Because Posley is not pupil-centric. And if that's my number one criteria, and if you're more worried about your own um, career than you are about the pupils, if it doesn't seem that you can get the job done, and in fact all you, you can do is retaliate and harass employees instead of improving pupil standards, then you got to go. And that applies to Bob Peterson as well. And he shouldn't be going out lauded. He should be going out recognized with his tail between his legs, having failed utterly, and um, really having disrespected all of the pupils of the city of Milwaukee, past, present, and future. To retaliate against an employee for doing what you asked them to do, to participate in it by asking publicly this employee uh, to share more information, and then because of the director's actions, that employee has such a target on their back that their mother has to go to a citizen 
of the state of Wisconsin, of the United States of America, not North Korea, and ask them to take down their free speech comment about Director Leonard's behavior because that comment is causing employment retaliation for the employee. These people ought to be ashamed of themselves. But that's where we're at. I mean, two weeks ago it was, uh, think about your paycheck. And we don't even know what employment pressure they put on her. We don't even have to. How are the directors supposed to do their job if Posley can do this? How are the ci citizens of the city of Milwaukee and the pupils entrusted to the care of Milwaukee Public Schools supposed to be able to get what we've promised them? Because they haven't. So something needs to be done and something needs to be done now. Bob Peterson, where are you? Thank you for sticking with us. We'll keep you informed. Well